Good day fellas, I hope you are ready for your daily dose of skill and today we are going to play with object 704. The tank which was the first of the tanks with which I got 10,000 damage if I'm not mistaken. This should be one of the first tanks where I got this humongous score and I and this vehicle is sitting in the special place in my heart. Um, it is very very interesting vehicle fellas, this tank is capable of doing a lot of a lot of good things, 750 alpha damage, but, but, some people would say, no but skill why would you play with this when you can play with ISU in the tier 8, and to be fair with you that's fair argument and um, it definitely depends on you, for me this tank is better than ISU ever was or ever will be. Anyways, let's go into the game and let's take a second to appreciate you tuning in into the video. Thank you very much for that, fellas. I hope you are having a blast and I hope we are going to have a kick-ass session today. And hopefully we will get a lot of, a lot of, a lot of beautiful Amorex, since it is a Russian gun. So thank you very much for everything, fellas. I appreciate you. And one more thing. If you are um, curious and you want to know uh, what kind of a equipment to use on the tanks, what kind of field modifications to use on the tanks. Fellas, remember there is index page for that. You can find absolutely everything there. Um, so yeah. Okay, so very first battle what we have. We have a very first game in the kind of newish map, save heaven. Um, we have a tier 10, tier 8 matchmaking and everything is looking pretty damn good. So all we need to do <coughs> we need to take a safe position on the field, somewhere here I would say, and we need to start blind shooting. I know there is alternative option or alternative position from where you are able to be the living crap out of the heavy tanks and it is in alpha 1, um, but I don't really feel like uh, this is the position where I want to play, although it could work very very well as well fellas. But I think this position is just simply going to be more powerful. We have a platoon of the scorpions, they are enjoying themselves. And this is good, to have mm, quite a bit of the tank destroyers on this side it is not bad whatsoever. And you know what is the most interesting thing? Enemies do not have any light tanks whatsoever, well neither our team does. But you get the point what I'm saying, game without light tanks, it is truly rare nowadays. It is truly rare nowadays, so we almost arrived to our position and from this area I would say we are going to blind fire someone who is sitting here because I am pretty positive there should be at least one gentleman who is sitting in this bush here, so 3, 2, 1, kaboom. Unfortunately no one is sitting in this position, very interesting. Very interesting fellas, extremely interesting, okay. How about if we would try to blind fire once again here? I mean, they should have someone in this position eventually. Wow. No one is sniping from the back, or at least it doesn't look like um, someone is sniping from that position. Okay, how about if we would pick like this and we would try to punish this Progetto, very nice, 708 in the face and we are es escaping in time, that's good. So, how about preparation for this guy who will try to be aggressive? This guy will go in front, that's for sure and yeah, unfortunate, unfortunate for him. By the way, we are not spotted. This is quite weird stuff, I would say. We are not spotted. Okay, how about blind shot, let's say, here? Hmm. Unfortunately, no one is sitting in that position. Our scorpions are pretty damn good with the blind shots, fellas. Our scorpions is blind shotting like there is no tomorrow. Speaking of the blind shots, T69 is dead. Hmm. Not yet. Not yet, fellas. Maybe Progetto will die. Look, at this point, even though everything is looking quite alright for us in this position, there is still a lot of things to do for us, fellas. There is still a lot of a lot of things to do. 
The thing is, our team is not winning. If you would pay attention at the HP difference, enemy team is having a great time and they are doing absolutely amazing job. So keep this in mind, fellas. I wonder where enemies are sniping from. Maybe this position here, maybe... Hmm... This is like a um, chess game, okay? We are trying to figure out what is the next enemy move. That's what we are doing and that's what we are attempting uh, of doing in this game. And this is ha 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 check animate, mother trucker. Check animate, I knew you are going to move the queen. I knew you are going to move the queen. Okay, very nice. We caught one. There is still plenty of things for us to do, especially if this Progetto will try to make a bit of pressure, but you know, everything is depending on... Very nice. Mwah. Beautiful. Okay, Scorpion G. We know we are Scorpion Gs and we know we are Suez. For a Su, um, we could blind fire this guy somehow like... Um... Actually, it's not easy to tell where he is. What is easier to tell, it is easier to tell where Scorpion is. And I would say Scorpion is sitting somewhere here. Definitely not the diary hit, but that's okay. Very interesting game, fellas. Extremely interesting game. Obviously, we want to support our Indian Panzer. But for that, we want to see enemies making some silly goose mistakes like this. And if they are going to make a mistake, our goal is obviously to smack them in the face for their stupidity or for their greediness. That's what I would say. Okay, how about this position once again? And at this point, I would love to see Scorpion G making a bit of pressure like this. Hmm... This is a hard game. Oh, very nice. Beautiful. That's what I was looking for and that's what I want to see. We know Scorpion G is sniping from the typical bush. So that's good information for us because we should be able to smack him right in the face about now. That was very bad blind shot. I'm quite sad with this blind shot to be fair with you. It went pretty bad. Okay, we are going to go for another one since we have all time in the world of tanks and can we smack him? Unfortunately, the gun has mind of his own, so gun is saying no. And if the gun is saying no, I can tell you only one thing, no means no, fellas. I repeat, no means no. Let's try to cross like this. Maybe we should be able to find a nice angle. And here you go, T95. Par, 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 through the open field. Par, 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 through the open field. Schneid. Beautiful shot into the T95. Very nice. And even now, the things are looking very bad and we are losing the game and the things are definitely not looking that great. As I would love to say, I am still feeling pretty damn good. We are going to raise our PP and we are going to survive this game. Skill, what do you mean you are going to survive this game? You think we are going to die? Oh, come on, fellas. Oh, come on. We will survive. Scorpion and here. I try to go for a blind shot for a scorpion. Now the question is, did we hit the blind shot or not? This is the question, my friends. Once again... This is as much as we are going to get in this game and I am not feeling bad whatsoever. Remember, 4.7 thousand visible damage. Let's teleport to the end of this game. Oh, boys. Boys. Okay, look. Uh, by the looks of it, we have some blind shot. Um, in fact, we had like, what, 4.7 thousand and we finish it with a 5.9 thousand. I am not complaining. I am feeling very, very good and I think we played pretty damn well. So in the end of the game, we have 5.9 thousand damage. We made 27 thousand profits, which is always nice and always welcome. And we did some blind shots. Good. And you see, fellas, even though we are not winning this game, I'm still pretty happy with my performance, even though it is a defeat. You see, not every single game is 
winnable. Sometimes you need to accept the defeat considering this game is 15 against 15. So keep this in mind, fellas. Let's keep it up. Let's go. And we are back to the second game. We have Himmelsdorf against the tier 8s uh, and tier 10. So we are middle tier here. It is looking completely fine. So what we are going to do, I truly dislike fellas playing on top of the hill. And I don't really like to play somewhere here uh, from this side. So I am taking the other acceptable option for myself. And it is to play in 1 to 3 line. 1 to 3 line is absolutely amazing. And you can get plenty. I repeat plenty of use here so we are going to attempt um, to punish I don't know someone who is crossing through the middle field here and I believe boys and girls ladies and gentlemen they might have someone meanwhile we are getting spotted by this T10 I don't really mind too much and we know they have a sniper schnitzel in the back where exactly sniper schnitzel is I would guess sniper schnitzel is sitting exactly here this would be my prediction, so we'll see. Time obviously will show everything and we have um, quite some forces who are making a hardcore pressure to the middle. That's fine. This is not bad whatsoever, fellas. Okay, we, we are correct. We, we are definitely correct. If this Scorpion will move in front, he will take one for the team. If this face will move back, he will take one for the team. If this Arta will click, he will be dead. Good. Very, very nice. Arta is down. I repeat, Arta is down. Now, at this point, we have extremely humongous advantage for ourselves, fellas. I repeat, we have a humongous advantage for ourselves. All we need to do at this point, at this point, we need to open our eyes and we need to try to support this Bobject. Bobject should ram the Scorpion and he should be fine against the Phase 1. At least that's what I want to believe. And this phase, if this Phase 1 will try to cross like this, um, there is a chance and there is a possibility he will try to do something like this. He is going to be dead meat. And in fact, I think the phase one is already a dead meat. We, meanwhile, we lost the hill and we lost the banana. This is not ideal situation for us, but it is not stopping us from doing something in this game. Meanwhile, Leo Pata spotted on top of the hill and now we need to craft a nice angle. We are taking our time to aim and this is a Russian gun, so we should be able to hit him. Easy peasy lemon squeeze it just into the track of Leo Pata and that was a very painful situation for this gentleman. At this point we need to defend the base. I believe I do not need to explain you why do we need to defend the base. There is plenty of enemy forces who are coming and who are thinking how to uh, cap us out and how to get maximum use of all this. So. All good fellas, we got this, 1 to 2 TM, don't turn from me, don't turn from me, ooh, Esterva tier 10 just crossed, that sucks, but we are okay, and AMAX is burning, very nice, okay fellas, we got this, we got this, relax, take it easy, even though it looks like we are about to get flanked, and probably we will get flanked, it doesn't change the fact this gentleman is dead, and now we are going to eliminate this T44100 from the game, at least that's what I want to believe. I want to annoy him quite a bit, obviously, and we are running back, all good, all good fellas, we got this. Now look, our guys are capping the base and they are trying to cap the base. Unfortunately, it is not... Oh, come on! Unfortunately, this is not going to be so simple as I initially thought it is going to be and he has a reload on me. I'm dead. Unless the RNG will save us quite a bit here. And the RNG! <laughs> RNG! RNG saved us, fellas. RNG saved us. Can you imagine that? Okay, beautiful RNG. Sometimes RNG is taking, sometimes RNG is giving, and in this kind of situation, RNG is definitely giving. Holy bananas. How dare you to complain about bad RNG in World of Tanks, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. How dare you? Okay, let's see. Can we hit this guy in the face? This is the question. Luckily, he bounced, so we have time to aim for him, and kaboom, 700. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We just decaptured the base, and now we are waiting until Bobject will arrive here, and he should arrive in a moment. Meanwhile, there is a Leo one who is sitting in our back, right? Luckily, our Bobject eliminated the um, Esterva from the game. Whew, okay, let's see. 
This is not going to be easy, but I would love to see this Leo peeking like this. Nice. And obviously high roll. Holy bananas from Banana Land, fellas. We are trying to rig brother in arms and that's what we have. Boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, that's what we have. Five kills for us and five kills for our Bobject. That's World of Tanks for you. A bloody carousel of emotions, fellas. Carousel of emotions for sure. Okay. Not ideal. But that's what we need to deal with. So. Let's see. Will we see a standard B trying to make pressure like this? This is the question. I have a feeling we will need to go back completely. I don't really think this standard B will try to peek against us. This is the problem, fellas. Or if he will try to peek, maybe he is going to go like this. Also could be possibility. Also could be possibility, my friends. But I cannot leave this position completely open. Okay. I guess, I repeat, I guess and my prediction is whoever is going to come here, he will come from this position. This is my prediction. Maybe Bizonte, maybe the standard B, I don't know. We'll see. Time will show everything. Let's see. Am I correct or am I incorrect? Am I correct or I am incorrect? This is the question. Wait for it. Wait for it, fellas. We have all time in the world of tanks. Mm -hmm. No. Are you planning to go for us? We need to focus here, fellas. I will spot if the guy will go like this. If he will enter this circle, we are completely fine, fellas, and we are golden. This is the thing. If they are going to enter to this circle, we will be all right. Oh, this is going to be long seven minutes. Okay. We know where standard B is. This is completely fine. We know we are his, fellas. This is good. This is good information for us. And he cannot approach us that easily. I wish I would have an extra shot of hit points, but unfortunately I do not. Since I don't... Oi, yo, 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 bizonte. Nice one. He got me well. Nothing to say, nothing to add. I was expecting Bizonte to go through the middle, but as you can see, it did not, uh, it did not uh, work that well. But you know what? The Bobject has this. No, Bobject doesn't have this. Bobject. Oh, yo, 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 unlucky. Standard B is aiming for his ass, and he killed him. Anyways, good try. We did everything what we could and it wasn't a bad game whatsoever. I was lucky not to die against the T44-100, although to be fair with you, he's supposed to die um, before, so I would have 500 HP and maybe we would be able to save this game. But once again, it is how it is. No complaints, no regrets. We need to accept this defeat and we need to do what we need to do. Anyways, we need to say thanks, GG, mate. We did as much as we physically and possibly could with this gentleman, so it is okay even with the defeat. So in the end of this game, we have a solid 4.4 thousand, Bobject has 5.4 thousand. And yeah, that was an interesting, interesting game, my friends. It was truly interesting. And I was saying for you as well that someone will go through the middle. I said that, fellas. I truly did. Anyways, no complaints, no regrets, what we want to do. We want to go for one more game, so let's teleport into the battle. And we are back, fellas. We have a highway and we have a situation against the tier 8s. Very nice. Uh, now, with this vehicle, we could play two ways this game. Actually, three ways. We could be a sniper schnitzel in the back. We could be sniper schnitzel in the middle or we could go aggressively. And... I am trying to make a decision, do I want to be sniper schnitzel in the middle or do I want to be aggressive? 
this is the question because by the looks of it we might have enough snipers in the back what do you think obviously a lot of things are depending on how many guys do we have sniping here we know we have one sniper that's for sure we have two snipers we have three snipers okay i am going to go aggressively I hope and I want to believe everything will go well for us, fellas. Um, skill, what kind of position are you going to take? I am going to be aggressive in the Juliet um, 8 position. It is absolutely amazing and it is golden. But what we need to keep in mind, we need to keep in mind if they will have some snipers in the middle here, we might get killed for this position. Or alternatively, if they are going to have someone here, but we'll see. Doesn't, doesn't really matter even if Vazay is uh, crossing like this, it truly doesn't matter. And in the same time, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, keep this in mind. We have a lot of, a lot of snipers. So now, if the things will go well and if our snipers will react properly, there is a chance they will punish this gentleman. And in fact, I can punish this gentleman myself. You see, this is what this position is all about. You can actually be extremely aggressive here. And I'm not joking. You can go in front and you can show the dominance just like this. I know it sounds very very weird but this is what this position is all about. And even though you can see the heavies entering into the city it doesn't really matter because once again this position is capable of punishing enemy tanks as well. And now even though if you are having a situation when E75 is thinking about crossing for us we do not care. Why we do not care? Because we have a snipers in the back and this is going to work in our favor. At least we are hoping for that. Boom, into the side of E75 and this is why you are taking this position. You can get plenty of the damage and plenty of assisting damage as well. So keep this in mind, fellas. This is one of the more powerful positions in the world of tanks and it can work extremely, extremely, extremely well. I'm trying to wait until I will have a chance to shoot this uh, um, Skoda, but I have a feeling this Skoda could be already gone from here. At least that's what I believe. And in fact, I have a feeling we might have a humongous, I repeat, humongous um, battle in the city. At least it doesn't look like it. It doesn't look like enemies have anyone um, outside the city as well. And that's pretty damn nice for us, fellas. I'm not going to lie. This is quite okay for us. Now, if this T95 will try to make a bit of pressure, we are having his side. So this is exactly what we want to see. We want to see this guy being aggressive. Meanwhile, Progetto is approaching this, uh, the, our base. It doesn't really matter too much. And we have Object. Object is showing his side for us. So we are saying hello. And we are smacking him for 750 in the face. That's beautiful. This is very good. This is very good, fellas. Mm -hmm. Art relocated, I think. I'm pretty sure Art did relocate it. Now the question... Ooh, Škoda, 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 Škoda. I was trying to blind fire him, obviously. It is not so easy, but it is definitely possible to do so. And at this point, whenever we are seeing our team winning, I repeat, whenever we are seeing our team winning the city, we can go for a base defense. There is no point for us to be here anymore. We are feeling completely fine with all this, fellas. We are feeling completely fine. Instead of... Instead of... Um, making hardcore pressure like this we will simply make sure to have a nice crossfire to the people who are playing uh, um, next to our base and believe me this could work extremely well you don't believe in me well watch this three two one dead beautiful very very nice and now we are taking our time fellas we are taking our sweet time until enemies will make another silly goose decision can he Aim was solid, fellas. Aim was pretty damn nice. Unfortunately, we did not connect the shot, but we aimed pretty well. 
Anyways, how about if we will try to um, get a bit different angle? How about if we will take this position here and hopefully from here we can have an angle to want to... Ooh, aim, 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 boom. Beautiful. 600 in the face. Very nice. Meanwhile, Torn Wagon is more likely a Faka. Uh, because this is literally a spawn and he has no business to um, do in that position. So I assume our team is being well fed by Afaka guy, which is completely fine. How about this Amaik Sada? Now there is a chance this Amaik Sada will try to escape. Actually, there is no chance he will try to escape, but there is a chance Mr. Borat will sit in the open field. And as you can see, he is very nice. Can we hit him? Boom. Very nice shot to the board and he's burning. I'm telling you fellas, there is a reason why I like this tank and why I have such a beautiful feelings for this vehicle. Let's teleport to the scoreboard, shall we? And we are back fellas. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. 2.8 thousand damage, 600 assisting damage and this is how we are finishing our experience. Top by the damage, second by experience, 40,000 profits which is always nice and after our session we have a solid 5000 average damage performance Whew. okay uh, no complaints no regrets fellas i'm telling you if i have a good feelings for a tank if i love the tank for some reason the tank is simply behaving nicely and for some reason we are having games like this anyways fellas that was your daily dose of skill i hope you had a great time and i hope you enjoyed yourself remember to smack one of those it helps the channel out a lot thank you very much for that and see you very very soon skill is out for today peace